Hello there ladies and gentlemen, you're back with Dak Dak and for our daily challenge today we are the defect, we get a sealed deck, ooh, we get red cards and lethality, so a claw build would actually work quite well here. About 12, 1300 for front page, let's see what we can do then. So, beam cell, I like the idea of. Scrape, rage, hmm, very little zero cost attacks. We are going to go Beam Cell. I like the idea of a Shrug It Off for a, a decent block. Um, rip and Tear and Rage. I like me a Sword Boomerang and a Twin Strikes. How many have I picked? One, two, three, four, five. Um, let's get another bit of a block. Six. There's not much in the way of block here. That's why Rage is quite good. You know what? Seven. We'll take Melter. Mm. Don't really like the rest of the cards. I guess we'll go eight, nine. All right, then me canting is dead good. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do with this then. <clears throat> so, elites, where art thou? We've got two, generally up the right or middle. I'd rather not go the ah, the shops both ways. Well, this shop is slightly later, so I guess we're going to go that way and then through the rest into the Elite, I guess. Let's go. So, do we want to go straight with the Sword Boomerang? I think we can kill them this turn, actually. That three strength up is going to be sick. You know, if we get a limit break, I'm definitely taking anger. <clears throat> the zero cost attacks are going to be the focus of this, I think. So, Twin Strikes has got you. And Sword Boomerang's got you. This first floor should be very nice and easy for us. You know what? I'm even going to take a flex as well over a True Grit. Um, I'd rather just take the gold for the shop that we're about to hit. Oh, more strength. Shame. It is a real shame we couldn't get a dead branch there. I think I go yes, 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 and yes. Metallicize could have been good, but I think it's a bit slow. We're definitely lifting. If we can get six strength up, we are going to kill most enemies first turn. This is bad. They get strength up. Not really what we wanted. Um, I mean, reinforced body is actually going to do what we need it to do. I hope one of the rip and tears hits you. Lush lightning. Can you finish it? Oh, it can. One's dead turn one. Come on. Um, right, I want to try and kill you, which is quite doable. We are wrecking these dudes. Right, can we get blocked this turn? Well, we can get Rage out, and then a double twin strike. Well, a twin twin strike, even. Oh, I love it. I'm going to take a machine learning. Drawing more zero-cost attacks would be nice. I'm not taking curses. Not if I've not got two. Appears not bad. Um, we're going to lift again. Why does it feel more like an ironclad run at the minute than a defect run? Never mind. There's nothing in particular we want to wait for. If we get nothing decent from this... I mean, we can attack with all of that. I think that's a decent turn to go on. We might not get the perfect against him. I'm well aware. <clears throat> unless we get some sick vulnerability here. Although... 12 times 3 doesn't kill you. Let's go for blocks. Because you're going to take a bit more damage from hitting me anyway. And then, I believe, we smashed your face in. Data disc, hmm, not really going to be that useful. But, I could add a ball lightning in there. It's one of these two. We've really got no other orbs at all. You know what? I'll take it. It's a decent attack on its own anyway. The lightning's just an extra bonus for us. Guess we'll go with the rage. Why not? Shrug, have you got anything decent for me? A rip and tear? Well, that's you dead then. Awesome. Blood for blood could be nice, but I'm going to take disarm instead. Works well for this boss. Um, yes, I'll take the idol. Um, take some max HP because we've already got more max HP from Le Pair. Oddly smooth stone is nice for the few blocks we've got, and Guria's done. 
first floor. Full Guria. Well, I never. You know what? I'm actually going to pop this. Because we're going to beam... Excuse me. We're going to flex them beam cell. You're going to get split no matter what I hit you with. Look at the damage. Come on, I need blocks this time. Shrug is good. I'm actually going to play Rage. We're going to go with the Rip and Tear. Because then Reinforced Body gets us where we need to be. I'd love Flame Barrier this turn, please. No Flame Barrier. We're taking damage. That's unfortunate. There's really nothing I can do. So if we're taking damage, we are going in on him. Bang, bang, bang. If it was any other boss, I think we'd have killed them before they'd have got any damage out. Play the flanks first, you silly. And then you want to go into the Melter and finish him with an Iron Wave. One health, really. Well, that was nice. Ooh. I mean, we don't need the Electro, but it will help. Dark Embrace, I don't think it'd be worthwhile. So we've got very little in the way of exhaustible cards. N realistically, none of these are great. I think you go Electro, just because. Um, I also think you go Curse Key, just because. If we could get on Memory early on this floor, that would be dead nice, but I think that's being a bit um, optimistic. I can get two up the left or two up the right. I can't get two up the middle. And we can get a late shop, actually. So I guess we're going up the right through the early shop. We've got Golden Idol, so we might as well have a look at these shops. It's not a bad thing. One of them. Don't get me wrong, would love to play Electro, but I'd rather not take damage, and we're probably going to kill you next turn anyway. Um, flex first. Oh man, the Lightning's got him, but I want to kill him myself. Poison Potion, fair enough. I'm actually going to take the Battle Trance instead of the Claw now. With the uh, extra energy, I do think we can get away with it. Um, let's see where... Well, I'm actually going to go for you. And you've got the most health. You've not been touched. So, um, we'll bring your strength down a little bit. These with strength up is terrifying. I'm just thinking, if I Electro, 4, 8, 12 damage, so that brings you down to 10 already. Flame Barrier would hit you for 4, so you'd need to hit me 3 times for 5. Oh, it's painful. Don't get me wrong, it is dead painful. You know what, I think we throw this at you. We'd need to Electro to make this work. What's the odds on me drawing something I actually need next turn? I think you go Flame Barrier. We are going to get hurt. Oh, no, we're not. That was beautiful. Give me actually a sweeping beam. I want some more draw now. <clears throat> I don't think we need Ritual Dagger. Most of our cards are essentially Ritual Daggers, so give me the gold, please. <clears throat> Admittedly, they don't get the strength from the kill, but... Excuse me. Let's go with the Shrug to see if I need to play um, Reinforced Body, and we'll play the Sweeping Beam. We get an Anger. Twin Strikes very nearly kills you. We did not need to play Reinforced Body. Wonderful. Um, can I get another... Um... Well, actually, it doesn't matter what we get here, because you are massacred. Awesome. You know what? I'm going to take a Rebound. It's another very strong attack. Yep. Um, I think we need some more blocks as well as. And I'm going to take a violence. Nunchaku would have actually been very good for us there. That's um, probably upsetting that I didn't take that. And we've got no curses. Nothing we want to remove yet. I think we're good there. So let's leave off. And Smith. You know, the beam cells being upgraded seems highly useful. 
keeping the vulnerability around for more than one turn. Normally, if we can't kill him in one turn, we kill them at the start of the next one. Shrug, what have you got for me? Mm, bad first turn. Yeah, we don't want to exhaust anything, so there's no point playing the true grit. Right, this could be bad. It is fairly bad. I think you need to play the flame barrier. Because I, I don't really want to take 16 to the face. And then we can get a cheeky little one energy twin strikes in there. That's more like it. Could I kill you though, is the question. Let's go battle trance. In that case then, I think we do now need to go beam cell into that and that. We're only taking a little bit of damage. I could have just reinforced body, but we want to kill this dude. Because this is one of the few people that's actually going to throw this deck off. A focus potion, yay. Give me another shrug. We're getting a few more blocks now. Electro early would actually be crazy good for these dudes. Um, definitely flex and rage. Sweeping beam to follow up. Well. That's as much block as we're getting. What are you guys doing? 30, what, 41 damage. Jesus. They weren't messing around, were they? Yeah, what? We're going to rebound beam cell. Crush you. Essentially crush you. And then take two more damage. Which isn't terrible. Not at the minute. Beautiful, beautiful. Anchor is quite nice. Do we need Carnage or Doom and Gloom? I don't think we do. We don't really like two energy cards at the minute. One energy cards are better. One or zero energy. I think we skipped there. Doom and Gloom's AoE would have been fairly nice, but... Never mind. We need to get rid of that down to the shop. Need to try and remember that one. Multi-attacker. That is bad times. You're doing 30 damage. Holy Jesus. Well, we're only taking 11. Can we kill you this turn? I do hope so. We can. We crushed you, actually. Um, yeah, give me a cleave. I want more AoEs. Anything that hits multiple enemies is good. Well, definitely a rage and a shrug to see what we get. A cleave. Hilarious. 17 damage. If I do that and that, you know what? I'm not even bothered about you. I'm just going to lay waste to this dude. If lightning hit him, it would have killed him. But I'm hoping you're going to summon a minion now because, you know, we killed one of them. That takes care of the goblin. Awesome. Don't think there's any need for the disarm. He's dead. Ginger. Awesome. I'm willing to take another reckless, well, a reckless charge. I don't want the apparitions, thank you. Oh, okay then. That's one way to get rid of it. At least I've not got to remember to do it here. Oh my days. That could have been silly. But you know, oh, I can't afford Vajra and Reaper. In that case, I think you just take the Reaper because we've already got em enough strength off. Up, even. Enough strength off. That was quite the, um, the line there, wasn't it? And we do need to add a few more blocks. So, um, yeah. Who are we fighting? I think upgrading trip is very nice here. <clears throat> Especially if we get it early. Not this turn, though. Rebound the cleave, definitely. Don't play Shrug It Off. I know I should have played Shrug It Off before we did all that, but the cleave is here now. We are going to get hit right in the face. It's the only problem. So, there goes the perfect again. I'm re- Oh, probably should have played the Reaper there. Never mind. Could always get it back if we're lucky enough. Electrodynamics. You guys suck. Then, sweeping beam. Who took what here? You have got my machine learning. You are doing damage then. Then get the Electro and that kills you. <clears throat> yeah, machine learning just passes us by, but we're okay for now. 
Let's go violence first and then battle trance. And you like the flame barrier. You have still got artifact, which is a little bit upsetting. Because the disarm's not really going to work. In that case, I think we just reinforce body and play our free attacks. I'm really not scared of this dude. Even with the strength up, I think you're going to die before you get to execute. Did that in a massively wrong order. We could have made him vulnerable for next turn, which may be the difference here between living and dying. Nope. It's the difference between him living and dying. Well, that's what I meant anyway, but yeah. Mm, this time I think it's got to be an Immolate. That is a massive AoE. You know what? Sozu. Why not? More energy. We always like Sozu. Dono and Deck with strength up is going to be a painful fight, at least. Uh, we can get two if we go up there, but we can't get a late shop. In fact, we can't hit a shop full stop if we go up the left. Well, I guess we're not hitting a shop then. Let's go up this way because there's a couple of question marks lying around. You don't really benefit from extra strength up, which is wonderful. I think we're just going to go with... I don't think we'll get anything better than Immolate. No. Well, Immolate did kill him, so um, yeah, no, maybe so. Give me another Twin Strikes. I'm loving them. Perfected Strike would have slotted right into this deck. It would have been awesome. And... I can... Actually immolate. That is awesome. <clears throat> then lightning has got you guys next turn. Wonderful. Thanks for playing. Liquid bronze. Good for our last boss up there. I will take another flex. We don't really need the strength actually, so I probably shouldn't be taking flexes. Never mind. Never mind. Violence, what have you got for me? A Reaper. Well. Why didn't you melt him first? It didn't matter, because we are that overpowered, but... It could have mattered. Don't need any of those. They're rubbish. Is there even a chance I hit a shop on this floor? If we're going up that way, there is a very slim chance. But you know what? I prefer the artifact cleansing on Dono and Decker at the end up there. So we will take it. You guys, I'd love to get Trip. Please? No. Fair enough. Um, in that case, because we're going to be playing the um, Reinforced Body, I think we're going to go for you with your massive HP there. You know what? We will do it like that. It's upsetting that we've not killed any of them. All right, then. It's upsetting that we only managed to nearly kill two of them this turn, but I think we are absolutely fine. So we can rebound Immolate, Twin Strike, Meltair. Awesome. Don't need Demon Form. I know I said Perfected Strike could fit in here, here quite nicely, but for Dono and Deco, I'm taking all the AoEs. Um, I mean, Rage being upgraded could be quite useful for us. You know what? Upgrade the Machine Learning. Make that in 8 so we can get more cards per turn. This dude should get crushed. Absolutely crushed. Kinda wanted some more AoE AoE, if that makes any sense. And it didn't hit one of you. Fair enough, we'll do that. <clears throat> he was dead to lightning, I should have hit this dude. Never mind. Still not worried, not yet. 33 damage from you is quite worrying. Um uh, well. There's really not any point to playing the um sword boomerang here. So I think you might as well block and take as little damage from this dude as you can. Shame we didn't get the perfect elite fight from him, but never mind. Battle Trance, in case we get any flexes, you're probably dead now, dude. Bam. Awesome. Whetstone, one second. Give me another Twin Strikes. We'll say that it hit that Twin Strikes, right? I do think I need to be upgrading my blocks now. But I'm not going to. <coughs> Vulnerability is key. What have you got for me? A writhe and a strawberry. Fair enough. Glowing Tesseract. We'll have a look at one. I like Sadistic. 
Purity could have been quite cool as well. AoE is our friend here. I'd like to get a monstrous reaper if I could. Um, well, you can both be vulnerable and then a sweeping beam nearly crushes you. Could I get the reaper please so I can get back to full health without resting? We are going to wait until we find it, basically. Because there's no reason to kill these dudes. Still don't need to attack them. They are losing health, though. Please give me Reaper while they're both vulnerable. God damn it. And there's no way to even get rid of this Lightning Orb. We've not got dual cast or anything. Well, if you're going to be like that, you can die. Thank God. We finally got it. And luckily we only needed the one dude to make it work. The claw's not going to be great, but I'll take one anyway. I'm so glad that wasn't a shop. Although we've got 100 gold, it could have been worthwhile. Um, are you guys all dead? Mm, that's upsetting. That's made up for it instantly. <laughs> Oh, the Reaper. Yes, I will take a go for the eyes, being as though we've got the sadistic. The giant head. Hmm. I think we're going to be fine here as well. And a beam cell, and a melter, and a twin strikes. And then you've already lost nearly 100 health, and you're not attacking again, and we can't be made weak, so joke's on you. Violence, what have you got for me? Well, where do you even start here? With the freebies, obviously. 13, well, that's 9, 27, that's 26, that's 26. So I think we go twin strikes, twin strikes, rip and tear, sword boomerang, twin strikes. That might have been the wrong order, but just look at his health and tell me again if it seems like it was the wrong order. Might as well leap. Uh, sweeping beam, see if we get another attack. Hopefully we will. Two cleaves. Uh, very nearly got you. Cool. Well, that was a nice fight. And I am saying that prematurely because he is dead. Shuriken. Oh dear. You guys are a little bit screwed. You know what? I'm going to take a cold snap instead of a perfected strike. And we got kunai as well. Back to back, really. Yeah, actually. I do like Violence, it's a very good card, especially if you've got a free deck, or an all-for-one deck, or anything to that effect. We are taking damage turn one, basically. Not much I can do about it. Never mind. Bye-bye, perfect boss fight, or elite fight even. Boss fight, elite fight, they're the same thing. Right, that's your artifact gone. Immolate is very good for all of them. I want True Grip, but I want to get some of the other things out there first. You know what? I don't think we want True Grit at all. I think we just want to keep wrecking these dudes because they're both already nearly dead. I am duking it out with both of them. We are playing Reaper. That is absolutely assured. I'm so glad I waited there. The Flex made that such a good heal. <clears throat> the Strength Index is still building. You guys can't kill me quick enough, right? Oh, and I think the trip's going to cement it, actually. Um, Melter's got you. I will disarm you, actually, just to make you a little bit more killable. Well, a little bit more, uh, less painful, should I say. You do know it's only been 25 minutes on this run, right? If I would have played Sadistic, he would have died before then. But anyway, we did win. 928. That is quite poor. It is win number 8, then. The streak's coming along quite nicely now. I say that, and then tomorrow we'll probably get crushed. Yeah, no perfect boss fights. It's a shame. There should be one above light speed for under, like, 25 minutes. No, because it's 13.45, isn't it? For under 15 minutes, maybe. Let's see where we came, anyway. And yesterday we did fairly well, so we'll have a look at that as well. Hmm. 9.28 finishers there. 
we are in 413th place with 11 hours and 27 minutes left to go. Not terrible. I think we'll be impressed if we're in the top 1,000 still. I do think we're going to fall a fair bit. It wasn't a difficult daily by any means if I finished it in 23 minutes or whatever it was. But yesterday we were in 524th with 5 hours and 47 minutes left to go. So, ooh, we didn't lose too many places. 11.04 puts me in at 602nd place. We lost, what, 80, 78 places or something close to that effect. Not bad. Not bad. We're not in the top 500, but it's still quite good. We're getting there. Our scores are generally higher than they uh, have been, or used to be, should I say. Either way, that is it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!